What's going on y'all, it's the kid J Nolan here. Hey man, for the producer community, I know I don't necessarily talk to you guys enough. You know, my perspective is typically from the artist because that's what I do. That's my expertise area. I don't produce, that's something I wanna get into. But we gotta talk about producer YouTube real quick because J. Cole just popped up last night with a new song called Procrastination. And this wasn't just any song, you know what I'm saying? Because he actually pulled up his own name, J. Cole Type B on YouTube. The first one that caught his eye, he rapped on it and put it out. So again, the song is called Procrastination Slash Broke. It's not from an official project. It's not an album coming soon. The song actually sounds more so like a Lucy, a throwaway. It doesn't sound mixtape or album material. Really just a stream of thought type of record where you get to get a glimpse into J. Cole's mindset of where he's at, I guess, in his most recent era. We don't know when he actually wrote this song or recorded it. We just know that it's out. But I want to read you guys this letter that J. Cole wrote uh, to the producer. The producer goes by the name of Batman. I've actually known about Batman for a few years now. Been keeping up with the beats that he posts. He does a lot of J. Cole beats. He does a lot of Jay-Z type beats, Nipsey Hussle type beats, Mad Lib type beats. He's pretty diverse with his selection, you know what I'm saying? And he does a pretty good job of, you know, morphing his production style to each particular artist that he's catering to, right? And this is a huge win for the tight beat community because outside of Meek Mill, who's jumped on some of his tight beats and put them on like Twitter and stuff like that, I don't think he's officially released too many of those songs or done videos for him. I think he might've did one though. I think more artists need to actually start hopping on the tight beats of their name on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because there are a lot of producers out here that have a very good gauge of what your style is or your style was at a certain point in your career, that would just be like a super ethical, super uh, altruistic way of like sourcing beats for your next project is to pay the guys that really want to produce for you, that have a affinity for what it is that you do, especially an affinity for what you do best. Now this song, Procrastination Slash Broke, was not released on your traditional outlets. It's not on Spotify. It's not on Apple Music. It's not even on SoundCloud, right? J. Cole actually gave Batman the song and allowed him to release it on his YouTube channel, which is gonna bring a lot of attention and probably gonna tenfold increase, if not even more, his beat sales. So boom, here's the message that he sent to Batman, which ended up being the single cover. This song should live on your channel and serve as a thank you to you and every producer out there cooking up and sharing their work with the world. It's a million artists out there right now, just like me, hungry and searching every day for something to spark a word, a melody, a hook, a verse, a punchline, a way to vent, or a way to cut through. On a day when I couldn't find much motivation, I was looking for anything to inspire me. Out of curiosity, I typed in J. Cole type beat into YouTube. Bingo. Yours was the first I saw. I pressed play, focus, and wrote this. This is some that would normally stay in the vault, but I don't want to hold on to the music like that no more. This is for you and whoever else need to hear it. God bless, bro, and keep doing what you do. Now, clearly, this is a text thread, so Cole and his team went through the proper channels to get in contact with this young man, reach out to him, create a text conversation. But I tell you what, Batman's channel is monetized. That J. Cole single is running up numbers right now. So this is like a super huge situation, man, because in a lot of cases, when a rapper jumps on a tight beat, especially like a mainstream rapper, when they do that, they're not really going to put it out as a monetizable song. They may not even pay the producer because they feel like it's a Lucy. I'm not even trying to do all that. This is a good look for you. But a lot of times those tracks only live on social media, right? So the producer never gets paid for their work. A lot of times they don't even get credited for it, but he allowed him to put it on his channel. So now that track is going crazy. People are going to it just because of the story. Now he's running up views. Matter of fact, let's just take a little look at where this song stands. 786,000 views on this track overnight. So you know his ad since finna go crazy this month, man. That's a blessing, bro. This song is number four trending on YouTube for music, right? So you're talking about a producer who's probably never seen, you know, that trending hashtag on their page, you know, getting beat sales here and there, selling beat licenses. Now has 111,000 subscribers, but I think that total was a bit lower last night. 
So this one track is about to change this dude's life and probably get him on panels, probably get him doing interviews. I mean, I don't know who's behind Batman, if he has an official team behind him, but if I was on his staff, I would be doing everything in my power to just get him out there in the forefront so that he could share his story, share his come up, share his producing technique, everything. You know what I'm saying? This is a golden opportunity for him to become a primary producer, especially when you start thinking about the artists like the Benny the Butchers, the Griseldas, the Jada Kids, the Ruben Vincents of the world. I could definitely see a Ninth Wonder, Soul Council, type of thing, reaching out to him. There's a lot of potential. And this brings me to really my overall point. There's a lot of you type beat producers out there. Y'all are trying to do anything to get on. Y'all are making any and all types of beats on YouTube. And I will never say anything negative about that. But my issue is some of you guys are using such and such type beats more so as a hashtag sizzle word, even though your beats don't sound nothing like what you're using as your example. Y'all are basically just trying to use the hot people's names, the people that people search the most so that they'll come to your track. But when they click on it and people are consistently disappointed, you wonder why your views don't go up. You wonder why your subscribers don't go up. You wonder why your beat sales don't go up because you're basically trying to find a creative way to spam. Batman stuck to the code, stuck to his guns, did what he know how to do. And he has, like I said, a pretty diverse hand in production, but he does have a sample based style. He does a really good job of replicating a modern boom bap sound. That's his forte. That's what people like about him. That's what people specifically go to him for. And that's what led to J. Cole making this song. Accuracy and consistency and at least having the ability to have something that could trend, you know, having the SEO to pop up when J. Cole searched his name. It's a perfect storm. And again, hopefully more artists in the industry take note of this particular situation and start working with these type beat producers because there is a lot of really good music, a lot of good production that's out here on the internet. We be hearing y'all albums. They sound really lackluster. Y'all working with the same ass producers that be on everybody else project and then wonder why people ain't interested in it. It's the top of 2023. J. Cole came and did something different. Let's all find ways to be innovative, right? At this point, I'm going to leave the floor to y'all. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. If you're an artist, producer, manager, or anyone trying to get active in the music community, I would highly suggest you check out my book, The Pen Game Portfolio Volume 2 at realjnolan.com. The book's only $15, and I give you all types of different strategies on how to get ahead as a music creator how to get all your royalties that you probably have been missing out on, how to get your music in TV and films. All of those things are available in the book. All right, now it's time for me to sign out, y'all. Much love and respect. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Got my legal hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, but I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. But we can't even talk if it ain't about the back. Got my legal hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, but I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track But we can't even talk if it ain't about the bat